So this is a quick update what happened in the last few days. As you can tell, there's a lot of hole on the hill. So let's zoom into a bunch of them. Let me see. There's a big one right about here. And there's a bunch of small ones here. And on top of it, there's a giant hole stick into the hill. So there's three to four of them right there. And on the very top, alone there, there's a bunch of holes. And there's original, there's a cave right there. The most ridiculous part is where this is. They dig out a whole series of under... See, I just cleaned that stair. That stair was blow, dry, cleaned, washed. This happened just last night. All this dirt, all this dirt right here. Let's get my finger. All this dirt right here. All from last night. And right up the hill right here. They open up another portal. The tree here kind of blocks it. We move this camera just over a little bit. You can see a little better. So there's the where it digs out. And it actually it looks like it filled the hole behind it. So that there was a big hole going down, exactly center, right there. There was a giant hole going down into the stair this morning. Looks like they back failed. But the amount of dirt along the side there. And there's a, the amount of dirt right here. Oh my god, look at all this dirt. It digs out behind this, basically underneath of this stair. Right there. There's two stairs, steps. See my finger can point. It's really hard to do this in the camera. There's two stairs. So they dig all this dirt out. And that hole right here. So between that hole and this hole, I believe there is, if I just count it, about one, four steps. So I believe there's a really large cavity of four steps right where my finger is pointing. It's most likely empty underneath of it. If I move it closer, the camera into the other direction, you can see it better. Yeah. So about four steps in the middle. One, two, three, four. Okay, one. Let's start with this one, with the two stripe. So one, two, three, four. And that's the next hole. Maybe five. It's hollow underneath of it. Could be rabbits, could be squirrels. Okay. And let's move it back to where the main... We got... This just happened in two days. Look at that. Could be a rabbit in there. It's pretty... It's fairly big. I see squirrel goes in and out. But that hole is big enough for a big fat rabbit. Um, it's about six inches opening. Six inches. Let me zoom back in again. Until... About six inch opening right there. Okay. See if I zoom in all the way in there. Maybe the camera will be able to adjust and see what I we can see with our eyeballs. Okay. And obviously there's a bunch of holes that's been created on the hill. Let's go look at what happened last night. This just happened last night. There's a hole there. There's a hole here. This happened a few days ago, but it got bigger. So the nest got bigger. The entry point got bigger. This hole got this one in the back pops out. It looks like they did one from the top. So that one's definitely... Oh, I just found another one right here. See the camera can zoom in. It's fairly deep. Okay, so the squirrel is running rampant. And let's see. There's another hole, two holes right Actually, a series of three holes. One, two, three. My finger, one, two, three in a in a triangular, and there's a one large one right in there. Okay, looks like there's another one at the end of the stick, lumber timber. There are two. I'm gonna zoom out, go to the closer to the top of the hill. This is an interesting one. That's all happened overnight. And it looks like there's an entry point and an exit point. For all we know, underneath of it, they already dug dug out a bunch of stuff. So this is the scale of the hole. It went from here to there 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 and on top. All through the top and to there. Those those that big pile of dirt. Right there, where that underneath that stair. And yeah. And over on the other side we have the holes from previous week. One, two, three, three holes right there. And we have one right there. And uh we cannot see it underneath, it's straight in front of us. Just if we can pierce through, x-ray through this, between this, this little tree right there. There's a bunch of holes in between that green grass. Okay. I'm documenting this because later on, once they all 
occupied by newborns and stuff. As I'm shooting, it could be like a whack-a-mole, so it'll be fun. There's there's one, there's two. So right now, I'm not killing them. More of a conservation style. Ho hopefully they live and don't get out of the number. When I start killing them, typically it's about five, six, ten, running around. And we have those guys, those guys, that one right there behind the truck. There's a shadow right here, actually underneath of it. Underneath that concrete pad, they just dig. You see my hand? Let's zoom out a little bit. They just dig underneath the, the concrete pad. Same as behind the red truck. They dig underneath of it. So you can't see it from here, but in a higher angle, there's one giant hole, cavity, similar to this cavity right here. Okay, about five to six foot long across. So I would say it's fairly hollow underneath from here to here, and start again from here all the way to there. Underneath of it, they can get underneath. Uh, coyote tried to get in there a few times. Oh, I see another one. Oh, oh, I failed. I failed this three years ago. I just opened up. I just noticed it because it took me a while to get all the dirt back in there. There's, this is a popular spot from the previous squirrels. There's a the last squirrel dying there because of me shooting it. See how that cavity got opened up? So safely to say, zoom out a little bit. From this point to this point, it's all hollow inside. But maybe just a little slivery, maybe 14 to 18 inches. They, they, they dug out. And we go back to our sacrificial hill where I feed in. Or I just dump all the scraps so they can live. Uh, nothing up there. There's never holes up there. Uh, and the tree has collapsed over the years from the termites. That tree we used to see from a video a few years back, green, the whole tree has collapsed due to termite. And just spray out like 360. And there's another tree right here that also just similar tree. It collapsed. Um, so I was standing right here and clapped this way and clapped that way. I had to pick all the pieces up. It filled about two, two, two trash bins um, up, um, up and down. Uh, one like a year ago and the other one just last week, me and my neighbor. Uh, we did that, clean out all the, all the debris up there. So this, that's a quick update. Um, so they can see me. So every time I came through this window, uh, squirrel hides up. Otherwise they'll show up in, most, in a lot of these holes. They just point their head out. Uh, my neighbor has a permanent hole where the rabbit and squirrel for many years goes in that hole. In fact, I saw a squirrel and a rabbit earlier was trying to fight for this this hole and one of them is occupied. So maybe that is the reason because that's occupied and they start digging new homes on my my side of the land. Which is perfect because, you know, little know I'm going to eliminate most of them. Okay. Uh, currently, they're just doing what pests does. Yeah, they went from eating grass and start, which is fine. They went from then they start eating weed. So I want to keep them for the first six months of this year. I want to keep them because they start eating all the weeds. But now they eat grass and they start digging holes. And I need to start doing some pest control. I reluctant to shoot them because they were kind of beneficial. Now no, it's no longer beneficial because they are they start eating a bunch of stuff. So that's a ground squirrel. And maybe the guy's digging all these things. So I would say that it's, this distance is just about 24 yards. Maybe 26 yards. Between 24 to 26 yards to reach him. Um, yeah. I believe I can reach him with, us, with the pellet easily. But I, I'm not going to do that because I might hit my neighbor's house beyond it. Well, there's actually no house at this particular line. The house is right here, uh, about um, five, 600 yards, five, 600 yards back. And the next house is all the way up the hill, and it's a valley owned by this house. So there's actually no house there, so I can actually shoot it. There's another house up there, further up there, so it's just, there's nothing. Just wilderness. Deers and bobcat, coyotes, and squirrels. Look at that squirrel. Look at how proud he is. Just sit up there like a little boss, like a baby boss. Yeah, it's hilarious. He just ate all the pear. So we, we have pineapple, pear, and whatever. After we cut the skin off, I throw it on the grass and fairly pretty much all disappearing overnight or the next morning. So I just saw him ate a bunch of pear uh, skin. Skin of the pear we, after we shave off this morning. So, thanks for watching.